You know that feeling when you show up to your favorite spot at your favorite lake to go fishing and there's someone already there? And you're like, ah, crap. And you go over to your second favorite spot and you're like, there's a lot to do, but there's someone there as well. And then you go to your third favorite spot and there's nobody there. And you get all posted up and you, and you throw your first line and you instantly get snagged in the trees because it's your third favorite spot, which is the last spot, and that spot fucking sucks. And now you want to buy a boat? Well, that's pretty much what happened to me. Now, I ended up getting a fishing kayak, which is a little weird because I've always kind of hated kayaks. They are incredibly uncomfortable, super unstable, cramped, slow, and all around got to be the one of the worst choices I could think of for fishing. But that's just not exactly true. It's what I thought, and I know it's what most people think, because every time I tell someone that I got a kayak for fishing, they start to reach for their lower back and squirm around in pain, begging me to stop talking about kayaking, eventually screaming as their leg starts to fall asleep, but there's nothing they can do, because they're trapped in the most unstable thing man has ever made. This is the way the world views these kayak things, and it's how I did as well. So now I've had a fishing kayak for 50 days. A kayak was on the bottom of my list for boat choices. And after what I just told you, you must be wondering why the hell I ended up with one. What I originally wanted was a bass boat, but I couldn't afford one. I didn't have anywhere to store it and didn't have any way to haul it. So realistically, I started looking at some used canoes on Craigslist in the Facebook marketplace. I could easily afford it. I could store it and it could go on top of my car. But, even with all these things going for it, at the end of the day, it was still a canoe. And after shopping for a bass boat, a canoe just wasn't gonna cut it. I had seen a kayak fishing video a couple weeks prior, but I still had all the negative associations toward it, and I quickly exited the video before my legs fell asleep. But a new kayak video eventually went swimming by. And before I had a chance to exit out, the kayak fisherman stood up on the kayak and made a few casts. He eventually sat back down in his reclined chair, kicked up his feet onto some pedals, and then pedaled over to a different spot, all while continuing to fish. So began the kayak shopping phase of my fishing career. I eventually decided on an Old Town Sportsman 106 PDL. I was a little skeptical at first, because this thing was damn expensive at 2500 bucks, but supposedly it could go on top of my car, I could store it with what little space I have, it would be stable enough to stand on, it would be comfortable, it would be light enough to move around on my own, it could be driven by my legs and a little steering wheel next to my seat, and it would provide the best fishing experience for someone in my position. And most importantly, there was a payment plan. <laughs> Being able to just throw these bad boys on top of the car is one of the main reasons we chose them. Without a truck or a trailer, it really leaves you as your best fishing vessel option. So we opted for the cheapest kayak rack system money could buy. Two foam pads that were basically just strapped onto the roof of our car. Now, I, I have scratches on my car now, and water leaks in when it rains, which is not ideal, but as the guy at the kayak shop said, it'll do for now. Now, at first, my brother and I helped each other load them on and off the cars, which was a pretty good system, until eventually we had to start handling the whole operation by ourselves. This process was made 100 times easier after finding the bath mat method. Just simply slap down a bath mat in between the foam racks, turn the kayak 90 degrees, slide it down onto a landing pad, and this made getting the kayaks off and on the car as easy peasy as it gets. I came so dangerously close to buying a canoe. What? Seriously, like I had sent in the low ball offer on Craigslist and everything. The main thing that stopped me was not being able to stand up and fish. Going out my first outing, I remember approaching the very first spot and then just going for it. Like I had my, my phone was in my pocket and everything. And as soon as I stood up, it was super stable. But after a couple minutes, our legs did get a little shaky. It was a little bit of a, a learning curve on this one. The first few outings were a little sketchy. 
but uh, I, I feel like I could confidently and comfortably just stand as long as I wanted. But I also feel that at this rate, if I keep fishing in this thing for as much as I plan on fishing, it's inevitable I'm, I'm going to fall in at some point. Now, when I watch a movie and it starts getting over the two hour mark, I'll start getting pretty shifty. I'll get pretty crazy with it. I'll start shifting over one side to the other and laying on my back and laying upside down. And it's, it's not a good sight. It's pretty annoying. When I sleep at night, I'm, I'm a lot like a rotisserie chicken. I'm just, I'm just rolling around throughout the entire night until, until it's time to wake up. So when I say that I can go out on a 10 hour fishing day in this kayak, and be totally chill with it. It's just, it's a good time. I'm not even thinking about it at all. That says a lot. It's its as comfy as it could possibly be. I mean, if, if I can barely sit through a two hour movie and I can happily go out and fish for 10 hours like every single weekend, sometimes two days in a row, then these kayaks are damn comfortable. So I also wondered if they would be light enough for me to move around on my own. Now these kayaks are definitely in the heavy category. Getting the whole of the kayak on and off the car is, is tricky, yes, but as I showed you with a little technique, it's, it's pretty easy. Now once you get it off the car, that's a whole other story. At first, I was just lugging it around uncontrollably, just swinging all over the place, making numerous trips back and forth to the car to get everything. It was honestly such a pain that it made going fishing quite the pain in the ass. So getting a kayak cart was probably one of the best first upgrades I got. Uh, Simply adding it to the end of my uh, kayak off the car routine made it so I never really had to pick up the kayak again ever since. After unloading off the car, you just load everything onto the kayak and then you roll it down to the lake all in one trip. The first time taking the kayaks out to the lake, I remember paddling out past the lily pads and then dropping the pedal drive into the water for the first time and then dropping the rear rudder and then making the first few cranks around on the pedals and pedaling right past the popular shore fishing spots, which were literally all taken that morning. And there was a feeling deep, deep down inside of me that was like, you know, that was some, that was some money well spent. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Should I weigh it? Point three. Seriously though, I need to cut the fish. So all around, I gotta say that this kayak fishing business really checked all the boxes for me it was down in my price range i could move it around i could store it it's it's stable it's fast it's it's got it all it's really it's really it really does it's not a bass boat it's definitely not a bass boat and i would say its biggest downside that it doesn't share with a bass boat is that you can't take anyone with and, and that does kind of suck because when you start getting into fishing this much, that's really all you can talk about. And then when you're running around showing everyone cool photos and uh, funny videos, you know, you, they want to come with. People are like, I want to go fishing. And you're like, ah, you know, I can't take you with because you, you don't have a kayak. So I think my grand finale for this video is if you have watched it all the way through to this point, you should probably go get a goddamn fishing kayak. Oh, grass, bro grass but I got one it's probably just more grass <laughs> yeah dude grass <laughs> uh, that's so funny man this stuff sucks I hate this grass so much I really wish that would have been two big fish instead of two big dude is yours bigger damn